Yeah, I'll show a brief video here on the uh, Kirk Klopp controller that I installed on my MEP A31A. Got uh, 227 hours on this unit. I've owned it since about uh, 38 hours. Stock controller I adjusted uh, when I first got the unit. Spent a lot of time adjusting it. Never really run right. It was getting out of adjustment where it was starting to surge pretty badly when uh, I had no load on the unit. But the uh, controller has really done a lot to help smooth it out. The controller is back here. It is pretty much a plug and play uh, installation. It took me more time to actually install the wire labels than it did to actually swap it over to the new one. Very easy thing to do. Uh, my one comment is on the E wire, don't bother putting a second label on the second wire. Um, it'll be the only one that doesn't have a label on it, so you know automatically which one goes in back. So, let's see here. I'm going to be uh, doing a little load test for you guys. I've got a 48 inch fan. It uh, doesn't have a horsepower rating on the motor, but it says it pulls six amps. And then I've got a heat gun here that rated for 14 amps. What I'm gonna do is I'll put the heat gun Heat, heat gun on first and then try to start the fan in the past the generator would never pick up a load like this would always dump it so let's see what happens here Ultimately, I can't say enough good things about the Kirk Clap controller. It has uh, really worked wonders on my unit and has made it for a better machine. I would recommend it to anybody. Thanks a lot.